Did you know that simplicity is often the secret to success? In a world that's constantly pushing us to do more, have more and be more, we often overlook the profound power of keeping things simple. We're taught to hustle, to juggle endless tasks and to chase perfection. But what if I told you that the key to living a more fulfilling, productive life lies in doing the exact opposite? If you want to unlock your full potential, you need to focus on less, not more. Imagine a life where you can strip away the noise, remove distractions, and give your full attention to what truly matters. It's not about doing everything, it's about doing the right things. And that's exactly what we're going to dive into today. The best advice I've ever heard is this simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. It's a timeless truth that has guided some of the most successful people in history. From Stoic philosophers to modern-day innovators, those who understand the power of simplicity are the ones who achieve greatness. Avoid this mistake thinking that complexity equals success. More tasks, more options, more distractions, it only leads to burnout. Instead, when you learn to focus on what you can control and embrace the power of simplicity, you can make life feel more manageable and more meaningful. Don't believe this myth that you need to constantly be on the grind to be successful. The truth is, the more you embrace simplicity, the more you free up your time, energy and mental space to truly excel. Ready to learn how to transform your mindset and your life? Let's get started. Number 1. Embrace the power of stillness. In the fast-paced world we live in today, it's so easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of constant notifications, never-ending responsibilities and the pressure to be always on. At first it seems like it's just the way life is. But imagine for a moment a quiet space, the kind of stillness that seems so foreign in our everyday lives, a place where there is no noise, no distractions. It's not a dream, it's within reach. The Stoics knew this long before our modern age of digital chaos. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most respected Stoic philosophers and the Roman Emperor, talked about the power of finding peace within, no matter what was happening around him. His wisdom rings true now more than ever. The first step to clear thinking and mastering your own mind begins with finding stillness. It's not about escaping the world, but rather learning how to pause, breathe, and center yourself amidst the noise. Picture this. You've just finished a busy day, your head filled with a thousand thoughts, each one pulling you in different directions. It's easy to become overwhelmed, but in those moments of chaos, the most powerful thing you can do is pause. When you take a few minutes to step back, to sit in silence and just breathe, you give yourself the gift of clarity. It's not as complicated as it sounds. We're not talking about long hours of meditation or retreating to some far off place. It's about those small moments throughout the day when you intentionally take a break, close your eyes and find a space within where everything can settle. Those few minutes of stillness are often the most productive part of your day because in that silence you can finally hear your true thoughts and assess what truly matters. And let me ask you, when was the last time you gave yourself permission to just be still? In our rush to keep up with the demands of work, relationships and technology, we often forget the power of quiet. Think back to moments in your life when you felt peaceful, maybe in nature, when you were with loved ones, or even during a quiet evening at home. In those moments, didn't you feel more grounded, more connected to yourself? That's the essence of stillness. It gives us the chance to be fully present. The curiosity lies in how you can cultivate this stillness in your own life. What would happen if you began your mornings with 10 minutes of quiet, or if you took a few moments before making important decisions to ground yourself? How would your life change if you made the decision to prioritize stillness, even in the busiest of times? 
The power of stillness isn't just a stoic concept, it's a necessity for anyone who wants to think clearly, make wise decisions, and lead a life that is more intentional. If you truly wish to embrace clarity, start with stillness. Number two, question your assumptions. We all grow up with a set of beliefs, assumptions about the world, about ourselves, and about what is true. It's natural, right? We live in a world where we are taught to take things at face value, to trust what others tell us, and to accept the opinions and norms around us without much questioning. These assumptions shape the way we live, how we make decisions, and the perspectives we hold. But what if I told you that these beliefs you've built your life upon might not be as reliable as you think? And what if those assumptions are the very thing clouding your judgment, keeping you from seeing the truth clearly? The Stoic philosophers like Seneca and Epictetus understood this better than anyone. They knew that true clarity of thought comes only when you are willing to question everything, even your most deeply held beliefs. Seneca, in his writings, reminds us that we are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. How many times have you felt fear or anxiety over something that, upon closer inspection, wasn't nearly as daunting as it seemed? How many times have you made decisions based on assumptions, only to realize later that they were flawed. It's almost a rite of passage, isn't it? We all carry these invisible filters through which we see the world, and for the most part, we don't even know they exist. But here's the key by questioning our assumptions. We can clear away those filters and start to see the world as it truly is, not as we assume it to be. Think about a time when you made an assumption about a person or a situation, only to find out later that you were completely wrong. Maybe you judged someone based on their appearance or a first impression, only to learn that they were far different from what you expected. Or perhaps you assumed that a situation was impossible to fix, only to discover that there was a simple solution you hadn't considered. It's in these moments that the power of questioning assumptions becomes clear. By challenging our beliefs, we allow ourselves to see things in a new light, to open up to possibilities that we may have missed before. Now, ask yourself, how often do you challenge the beliefs that you hold? In today's world, where we're bombarded with opinions, headlines and information from all sides, it's more important than ever to be mindful of what we take as truth. How many times have you heard something, assumed it was true, and moved on without a second thought. True clarity doesn't come from blindly accepting the world's narrative. It comes from asking tough questions. Is this true? Why do I believe this? What evidence supports this? It's only through questioning that we can strip away the layers of assumptions and uncover a more accurate, clearer view of the world. This is where curiosity begins not just in asking the right questions, but in being open to the possibility that everything you thought you knew might need to be re-examined. Number three, focus on what you can control. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the sheer amount of things that are out of our control. The state of the world, the economy, politics, the actions of others, so much of life seems unpredictable and beyond our reach. When you think about all the things you can't control, it's easy to feel powerless. But here's where the Stoics offer us a radically different perspective. Don't waste your energy on what you can't control. Focus on what you can. This simple idea, embraced by the Stoic philosophers like Epictetus, has the power to transform your life and your mindset. Instead of wasting time and energy fighting the things that are beyond your influence, direct your attention toward what you can control, your actions, your reactions, and your attitude. At first, this might sound too simple. In a world where we're constantly told we need to have everything figured out, to fix every problem, and to control every aspect of our lives, it can be hard to accept the idea of letting go. 
But think about it. How many times have you found yourself stressed about things that were completely out of your hands? How many hours have you spent trying to change something that you couldn't possibly change only to end up frustrated and exhausted? That's the trap the Stoics warned us about. When we focus on what we can't control, we become victims of our circumstances. But when we shift our focus to what we can control, our own behavior, our thoughts, our responses, we reclaim our power. Think back to a time when life felt particularly chaotic and you were trying to control everything around you. You may have tried to fix a situation that wasn't yours to fix, or maybe you spent too much energy worrying about the unknown. Now, reflect on how you would have felt if you'd focused only on the things within your control. What could you have changed if you'd shifted your attention to your own reactions rather than external circumstances? We all face challenges that seem impossible, but when you realize that you have control over your own actions and mindset, the weight of those challenges becomes much lighter. In a world that constantly demands more of us, it's easy to feel like we have to be in control of everything. But Stoic wisdom teaches us that the true power lies in focusing on what we can change. This doesn't mean ignoring the external world. It simply means choosing where to place our energy. Number four, seek simplicity. In the complex, fast-paced world we live in today, it's easy to become overwhelmed by the sheer amount of choices we face every single day. From our professional decisions to personal preferences, it feels like we're constantly bombarded with options. But what if, instead of trying to manage complexity, you embraced simplicity? There's something incredibly powerful in the idea of stripping away the unnecessary and focusing on what truly matters. It's a principle that has been at the heart of great wisdom throughout history, from the teachings of the Stoics to the minimalist movements of today. Think back to a time in your life when you felt truly at peace. Maybe it was during a quiet walk in nature when there were no distractions, or perhaps it was a moment spent with close friends or family when the world seemed to slow down. In those moments, what made you feel so content wasn't the complexity of your life. It was the simplicity of the experience. You weren't worried about a dozen different things. You weren't overthinking every interaction. You were just present, enjoying life in its purest form. This idea of seeking simplicity isn't about cutting out all the joy or excitement from life. It's about eliminating the distractions, the excess noise and the unnecessary clutter, both physically and mentally. In a world full of hustle culture, where people are constantly told to do more and achieve more, the concept of simplicity can seem almost counterintuitive. But in truth, simplifying your life can lead to greater happiness and clarity. By focusing on the essentials and eliminating the non-essentials, you create room for more of what truly matters. Think about how much energy we often waste on things that don't bring us true fulfillment. How much time do we spend scrolling through social media, chasing after material possessions, or trying to live up to others' expectations? Now, reflect on a time when you removed some of these distractions from your life. Maybe it was a weekend where you decided to disconnect from technology. Or perhaps you spent time decluttering your home. In those moments, you might have felt a sense of freedom, like a weight had been lifted. That's the power of simplicity. It's the realization that by removing the excess, we make space for what's truly important. Meaningful relationships, personal growth, and genuine happiness. In our pursuit of simplicity, it's not just about cleaning up our external environments, it's about decluttering our minds as well. How often do we overcomplicate things by overthinking? We obsess over what others think, we stress about what we can't control, and we let our mental space fill up with unnecessary noise. By practicing the art of simplicity, we can clear our minds and focus on the present moment. What would your life look like if you took a step back, simplified your routine, 
and focused solely on the things that matter most. How much more productive could you be if you eliminated the distractions, even just for a short while, and allowed yourself to truly focus? Curiosity strikes when you consider the long-term impact of embracing simplicity. What could you accomplish in your personal and professional life if you made simplicity a guiding principle? The joy that comes from simplifying your life doesn't just come from reducing material possessions, it comes from learning to focus on what brings you the most peace, satisfaction and growth. Could you challenge yourself to live more intentionally, focusing on the people, experiences and goals that truly matter while shedding the excess? That's the kind of change that not only enhances your life, but allows you to be more present and fulfilled. Simplicity doesn't just make life easier, it makes it richer. Number five, cultivate a growth mindset. We live in a world that constantly tells us to strive for perfection, to always be the best and to avoid failure at all costs. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing that success means being flawless, that making mistakes is something to be avoided at all costs. But what if I told you that the path to success isn't about avoiding failure, but about embracing it? What if the secret to personal growth and achievement was not about being perfect, but about having a mindset that thrives on learning, improving and evolving over time? This is the essence of a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the belief that your abilities, intelligence and potential are not fixed. They can be developed through dedication, hard work and learning. This mindset stands in stark contrast to a fixed mindset where people believe their talents and abilities are static and that failure is a reflection of their worth. People with a growth mindset see challenges as opportunities to learn and grow, not as obstacles to avoid. They understand that setbacks are a natural part of the process and that failure isn't a final verdict, but a stepping stone on the road to success. Think back to a time when you faced a challenge that seemed insurmountable at first. Maybe it was a project at work that seemed too complicated, or perhaps it was a personal goal you thought you could never reach. When you first encountered that challenge, did you feel frustrated, defeated, or unsure of your ability to succeed? Now, think about how you overcame it. Maybe you sought help, learned new skills, or simply kept pushing forward. The key to overcoming that challenge was your mindset. If you had given up at the first sign of difficulty, you would never have learned what you did. But because you maintained a growth mindset, you were able to adapt, learn, and ultimately succeed. The beauty of cultivating a growth mindset is that it opens up endless possibilities for growth and improvement. When you stop seeing your abilities as fixed, you give yourself the freedom to explore new ideas, try new things, and take risks. Whether it's learning a new skill, tackling a new project, or pursuing a new passion, the growth mindset allows you to approach life with a sense of curiosity and resilience. Instead of seeing failure as something to fear, you begin to see it as a natural part of the learning process. Each failure becomes a lesson, each mistake a chance to grow. Curiosity sparks when you consider how your life would change if you fully embraced a growth mindset. What new skills could you learn? What new goals could you achieve? How would your relationships improve if you approach them with a mindset that is open to learning and growth? Imagine facing a challenge without the fear of failure, knowing that it's an opportunity for growth, not a final judgment of your abilities. By cultivating a growth mindset, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities and create an environment where success is not about perfection, but about progress. The journey of self-improvement never truly ends, and that's where the real magic lies. Number six, practice active listening. In a world where we are constantly surrounded by noise, constant updates, messages, opinions, and distractions, 
it's easy to forget the power of truly listening. We hear people all the time, but how often do we truly listen to them? Active listening is a skill that goes beyond simply hearing words. It's about being fully present, engaging with what the other person is saying, and responding thoughtfully. When you practice active listening, you not only build deeper, more meaningful relationships, but you also gain a greater understanding of the world around you. Think about a time when someone truly listened to you. Maybe it was a friend who gave you their full attention when you were venting about a problem or a mentor who patiently helped you work through a challenge. In those moments, you probably felt heard, valued and respected. That's the power of active listening. It's the gift of being fully present and engaged with another person. When you listen actively, you demonstrate empathy, respect and understanding. And when you truly listen, you open the door for deeper connections, stronger communication and more meaningful conversations. Now think about how often you truly listen to others. In today's world, it's easy to be distracted. You may find yourself scrolling through your phone, multitasking or thinking about your own response while someone else is speaking. But how many times have you missed out on valuable insights or connections because you weren't truly listening? Active listening requires focus, presence and patience. It's not just about hearing the words, but about understanding the message behind them, reading the body language and being in tune with the speaker's emotions and intentions. When you start practicing active listening, you'll be amazed at the impact it has on your relationships. You'll notice that people open up to you more, share deeper thoughts and feel more understood. Active listening also helps you become a better communicator. When you listen thoughtfully, you respond more effectively, which leads to better conversations and fewer misunderstandings. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows that you're part of the 0.01% who are truly committed to transforming their mindset and living with purpose. It's easy to get distracted in today's fast-paced world, but you've just taken a crucial step in mastering the art of clear thinking and focus. Remember, simplicity, growth and active listening are not just techniques, they're powerful tools that can reshape your life. If you're serious about making a lasting change and taking control of your future, make sure to join our community by subscribing to the channel. We're on this journey together, and the next steps are all about continuing to grow, learn, and thrive. Let's keep pushing forward, together.